Everybody's just gave it is the morning of 9-11, uh, 2013. Remember back on uh, when the Twin Towers were hit back in 2001, I was just going to one of my classes at St. Thomas. People turned TVs on. We saw what was happening a little bit, and then it kind of said everybody that was like, oh my God, the U.S. is under attack. I remember my mom worked in downtown Minneapolis, and they closed the most of downtown Minneapolis. And I was working part-time at Mall of America at that time, and I remember they pretty much closed down Mall of America and a lot of other sites around the country as people didn't know what was going on. Very scary time. It's interesting to see how far we've come and how much has changed, all the security and different things that have changed in the U.S. and worldwide since 9-11 happened in the U.S. Just want to remember today and give thanks to all those people that, the first responders, uh, the ones that lost their lives, the ones that helped all the people that were able to escape from the burning buildings, and all the first responders and military that are still out there helping around the U.S. and around the world today. Also want to give a little commentary on Obama's speech last night. I think it was a very good speech. Um, I guess I'm not real big on the eye for an eye, so if something happens we have to retaliate. I think that we should try to keep world peace as much as possible. I also don't think that we can just have people going and using toxic gases on their own people. It seems a little bit Hitler-esque to me, and we definitely don't want more of what the Nazis did coming back in this century. You know, I've got kids, a lot of people out there have kids. We don't want to see toxic gases used on this generation. So I think that diplomatic approach is definitely a way to do it. If we can't do that, then maybe the pinpoint airstrikes like we've talked about is the best way to do it, to send some kind of message worldwide that we're not going to tolerate toxic gases being used on people. So I'd like to know what your opinions are. And everybody out there, remember today, 9-11, uh, we had a horrible day in U.S. history. and. Thank you to all of our service members out there for what they did. Have a good day, everybody.